and welcome to Traca territory. Today in this video, we are gonna show you some of the hot spots around the routes. And today we're gonna start with the first one. This is the one from the 360 routes. People think they can use road shoes to do the routes. After seeing this, I think you're gonna take a look and see if that is possible. We come from this pretty fast and then we make a right turn. If you're able to do this on your bike, you're a really good cyclist. So I think this is gonna be hike a bike for most of you. We're in the most critical part of the hike a bike. There is a bit of uh, loose rock, tiny rocks, and you cannot see the incline, but it's pretty, pretty steep. So yeah, just take it easy and please do wear proper shoes for this. Okay, we're almost done with the hike a bike part. I'm wearing tennis shoes and uh, it took me more than five minutes to walk quickly up the hike a bike. I think most of you are gonna hike this part, maybe one or two, but I think it's not worth it for 360K. It's totally a uh, really, really nice place. So yeah, just take your time, eat something, drink, drink something, and also look around because you can see the sea, you can see the mountains and the scenery is beautiful. We are in another hotspot of the Traca route. Uh, here is 360 route, but also 560 route. We have one of the riders and we'll ask some stuff. What do you think about this Portland that Gerard has to offer? I think it's pretty amazing. Yeah, this, uh, this route is pretty challenging. Um, I'm super excited to give it a go on the day of. Today will be the last day that I get to see a lot of the route and I would recommend a 42 chain ring <laughs> instead of a 44 and uh, insider tip that font back there it works thank you very much enjoy yeah. the ride gracias We are in another hot spot of the routes 360 and 560. It's just after uh, the town of Vilamanisca. You have uh, Portland and uphill, and then you'll go and do a loop through the Albera, and you'll have a bit of some surprises, some 20%, some loose gravel, some rocky spots. So yeah, but the view is amazing. You can see the Pyrenees to that side. You can see the ocean to that side. So enjoy the nature. This is another hot spot of the route. It's uh, called El Famosos El Smedes. Uh, yeah, it's the last long climb of the 560, 360 and 200. I would definitely recommend to save some energy for this climb because we've seen a lot of tears here. We're in another hot spot of the Traca routes and this is a really special one because you have less than 10k to get to Fontajau and all we're, you're thinking about is that uh, meal you're gonna take, that food you're gonna drink but you still have this little single track that is really, really fun.
This is the last hot spot of Traka. It's a really special one because you're less than five kilometers to go. By the locals, it's known by the Nescafe single track. Uh, pretty simple, but it's been a long day and you're tired, but you really need to save a bit of energy because you need to be focused. It's pretty simple, but it has a little bit of a, a, a jump. And if you fall, uh, yeah, there's a river. So we want to keep you safe. So yeah, just save a bit of energy. We've shown you some of Traka's hotspots, but there are many more. But with this, you're a little bit more prepared and you can enjoy. Ciao!